the top 10 Christmas love songs. Uh, you guys know I've recorded three of these already, you know, Christmas related. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of them, you know, not the biggest fan of Christmas, like I said already. In those videos, um, you know, I'm not really a big fan of uh, love songs as well. Combine the two in one video and you get probably a, a recipe for disaster. Well, I hope not, but probably. Uh, you know, let's just get it over with. Uh, requested by Music Van. Don't have any predictions because I don't care for love songs and Christmas as well, so. There we go. The Ramones, no. I don't want to fight tonight. Charming, charming. Yeah, you had Blue Christmas already on the previous list, so fuck off. Just fuck off with these Miss Mojo videos. I'm not interested. You know, I'm just gonna... <clears throat> I'm just gonna click on every Miss Mojo video and say not interested, not interested. YouTube? I'm not interested in this fucking channel, so fuck off. Let us know why. Um... um I have no interest in this channel, Miss Mojo. Yes, yes. All right. I have no interest. Santa baby. There we go. Let it happen, YouTube. Let it happen. Uh, this is all right, I guess. It's really fucking old. No, I'm not an expert on uh, the Christmas songs. So don't you know? Don't go mad. You know, I'm just gonna click on the Miss Mojo videos, that is all what I'm doing right now. Not interested, not interested. Just fuck off with these fucking videos. Wham, last Christmas. That's great. Um, yeah. This one. There we go. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, it's alright. It's not the best. Don't go there, don't go there. The are there to think That's, it's a nice song. Now, if you can make an original, nice, a song full of melody, which is Christmas related, in the 21st century, then you have my respect, Coldplay. And I really mean that. It's an original Christmas song. That's very rare. That's really, really rare. It's a good song. Number eight, Christmas time. Don't let the bells end. The darkness. Now this again. Not really that old, is it? Number eight. No. It's only from 2003. It looks like an uh, 80s video. Often cited as one of the most underrated Christmas tunes. The darkness rock and roll their way through festivities unlike any other band could. Looks really old. Lead singer Justin Hawkins takes center stage for the song and video as Don't Let the Bells End reunites him with his lover and pays homage to the Christmassy glam rockers of years gone by. I don't know the band. Of 
This from RMV, I think. Boys to Man. single off their Christmas Interpretations album, with Let It Snow, Boys to Men brought extra soul to the season of Goodwill. Christmas Interpretations. But if you want R&B while decorating your tree, there's really no better soundtrack than Let It Snow. What an original title. Also really confusing as well. If you need to let a loved one know exactly how loved they are, then it'll do exactly that. Thick candles, mistletoe, mulled wine, and an open fire. It makes for the coziest of Christmas nights in. Mm. It's now. How can your baby do that? Think, boys to men, think with your fucking head. And not, you know, not let us know that way. Fucking hell. They probably mean that as well, don't they? Oh, again. A love song by Elvis Presley. Surprise! It's a surprise! Elvis Presley is just so dated to me. And as a tale of unrequited Yuletide love, it's one of the most What did you just say there? I don't care. The thumbnail though. Mariah Gary. The modern one. Watch my eyes, you're so fucking tasteless. Number five, Fairy Tale of New York. The Pogues featuring Kirsty McCall. Oh, this one again? They're just basically uh, rehashing their, um, their British one, their British um, Christmas songs. And their modern ones, they're just basically rehashing those ones. Described by some as an anti Christmas effort, Fairy Tale of New York doesn't deck itself in boughs of holly or even slightly care for Santa. You know, now I think about it, when I still, uh, when I still am around, even you know, um, I don't have to do these videos next year. That is a good thing, if I'm still around. You know, if I'm still around. I just don't think it is that good of a song. Yeah, but this should just say faggot, really. Oh, sure it is. Oh, it's so cheesy. The cover is horrible. Really creepy. Performed by normies, covered by normies. It's bad out there. Just fuck off, man. Sing is so cheesy. Oh, you bet your sweet fucking ass it is. Oh, it's not that bad there, you know, we don't have a lot of uh, wind, uh, no snow anymore, it's, everything's gone. Uh, we do have a lot of rain though, we always have this in, in the Netherlands, love it.
you know, not extremely, but still, uh, how do you say that? Dense? Densely? Just a little bit, you know? Number three, I'll be home for Christmas. Bing, Bing Crosby. This is a great song. For Christmas. A desperately downbeat record. How is this not number one? This very nearly didn't make it into production at all. Christmas Eve will find me. Written from the perspective of a soldier fighting in World War II and released amidst the war in 1943, some deemed it too gloomy for men stationed overseas. No, nah, that's great. Families at home. If you think this is too gloomy, listen to the to the other Christmas songs, man. It's not too, it's not too good, man. It's not too good. When Bing Crosby went ahead and recorded anyway, at one time releasing it in conjunction with the more uplifting White Christmas. He wrote that as well. Damn. Nowadays, it's a firm favorite. Crosby, you fucking legend. Two, two Christmas songs that are so fucking popular. You, you are a rich motherfucker, aren't you? Nostalgia at its finest. You know, two, two of the best Christmas songs, but still. He is fucking rich. He's bawling, son. Uh, it's, it's a bit slow, though, but... How is she above uh, Crosby? No. An instant classic that shipped over 14 million copies worldwide. There are only a dog with sticks is a rain there. Low budget much? <laughs> Holy fucking shit. More than this Mariah Carey number. Low budget or laziness? To react to this again. Don't have to react to this again. Carrie simply couldn't be any more loved up, and we simply can't think of a more upbeat Christmas anthem. From sleigh bells to Santa. That range though is incredible. Is this. I'm so I'm so dumb, but that range is still. Merry Christmas, darling, by the Carpenters. Just say the most blatant, the most obvious things about Christmas, and you're done. You have a song. Those are the Carpenters for you. Uh, again, Merry Christmas, baby. Faith Evans. I've heard of that name, but. Two thousand miles by the pretenders, carpenters, pretenders. It's all the same fucking shit. Snowflakes of Law by Tony Braxton. That is at least a somewhat original name. Title. But Tony Braxton is broke as hell, so no money for you, bitch. Please come on, come home for Christmas. Eagles, yeah, of course they they fucking make Christmas tunes, man. It is so ironic as well. The Eagles are so half-assed, it's such a horrible band. The cover is horrible, the music is horrible, and you know the cover again. But it's not even Christmas related. Yeah, they have a, a Christmas tree, but it's at a fucking lake. You know, they're, they're half naked in their fucking swimsuits and they're just, you know, chilling at the beach in in uh, December. The Eagles go, go, yeah, just go fuck yourself. Now, that would probably be me around Christmas time if, if I had the money and decency to do that, but... But still, fuck the Eagles. Horrible ones. Number one. Wham again. <laughs> This is, I think, the third video that I'm doing right now, the fourth one, and Wham has appeared on three of them. Holy fucking shit. Oh, man. I'm already done. I'm already done. 
last Christmas. Set across consecutive festive periods, it's the story of how far love can change in the intervening year. In the famous ski resort video, Lamb's George Michael is a man with conflicting emotions, and his deep in thought close ups are now considered iconic Christmas imagery. Throwing the snowballs, of this course. Christmas and every Christmas, it's guaranteed that last Christmas gets played over Very and over again. Day. Merry Christmas you and thank you from all day. at Watch Mojo. Well, was great. So, do you agree with our list? Which Christmas looks like? No, I mean, Wham is number one, so it's good. And then you play this. Fuck you, Watch Mojo. Okay. Lip syncing the shit out of it. You're not even sure anymore. She's so, you know, booted up or so, so blatantly, you know, she's so much shit in her face. She's so fucking facelifts and stuff like that. So much plastic surgery. You can't even see her sing anymore. And I mean, she's just lip syncing on every fucking song, man. Just, yeah. Oh, man. Such a beautiful woman in the 90s, man, when she recorded that song. And just when you look at her now, you know, lip sync fills and all that. Oh man, it's it's so horrible. But yeah, that uh, that is what a uh, shitload of money does with you. It makes you a crazy fucking uh, person. But hey, guys, that was the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I I can't read the comments. I guess you know we have still some time left. All I want for all I want for Christmas is you is actually a really catchy song. Yeah. It's a great song, so that is really obvious, so why would you say that? Uh, and everyone is everyone is saying I agree through, yeah, that's just basically a fact that the song is catchy, so fuck off. I just saw boobs, what is this list about again? Uh, yeah, Christmas music, that's true. Uh, top 10 best anime Christmas episodes. Maybe I'm gonna watch. Nah, no, nah, I'm not gonna watch that. But don't really care about Christmas. Do care about anime, though. So there we go. Anime is great stuff. Um, less Christmas. I'm tired of. Now I hate it. All I want for Christmas should be number one. What? Uh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, they're all the same. <laughs> Mariah Carey, uh, Wham, you know. Uh, yeah, no, no, Wham is still number one for me. Uh, Mariah Carey's is a close second, though, I have to say that. Or that, Cro you know, that Crosby guy has to be number one for me, but whatever. Uh, Mariah Carey should have been number one. Yeah, just basically a uh, guy saying, you know, Wham is great, Mariah Carey is great, both are great, so. Um, yeah, just a guy copy and pasting, uh, all I want for Christmas is you. Uh, yeah, Mariah's great, man. Um. You know, back in the day. I have to say, you know, back in the day. Because she's not so good now with all that fucking shit in her face. And in her body. But hey, that is what celebrities do. And I can't, uh, you know, I can't stop them. <coughs> Axl Rose. Um, hey, but guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said again, um, comments are fucking boring. As, <coughs> as usual. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about the, uh, the list. You know, I thought it was alright. It, it wasn't as best as, uh, as I thought, but hey, there we go. Um, yeah, like the video, co co comment on it, subscribe, do all those good things, and take care.